uh, welcome to my youtube channel today we're gonna fill out the form to apply United States so we're gonna apply visit visa and it's gonna be a subclass B2 visa and then let's get started to apply USA in order to apply let's get into a couple of things so first of all we're just going to determine our eligibility, whether we are able to apply United States or no. And then after that, we're going to complete the DS-160. Third, you need to pay a visa fee. I'll uh, guide you to that, you know, how you can pay it. And then you can schedule a visa interview, gather required document, whatever you filled out in DS-160. And then you need to attend the visa interview as well in order to get a visa for United States as B2 visa uh, for tourism and then you will reserve your visa and then you're just gonna come to United States so let's get it started step by step so first of all we're just gonna go to the Google uh, I'm gonna go start from the scratch so it will be easy for you I'm just gonna type apply USA and then it will direct me to a couple of sites so I'm gonna go to the second site which will say US visas after reaching there on a US visas I'm gonna click on tourism and visit and then by clicking on tourism and visit you can have multiple informations here you can have visa news, visa wizards, or visit visa, a lot of information out here. You can go in detail about it if you want to know more. But today I'm just going to apply the visa, which is going to be applying a DS-160 form. So there's some visa waiver program as well if you want to go about it. And then a lot of information. Please feel free to visit this site I will ping this website in my descriptions as well please check it out there so if we go to the visitor visa if we click on overview there is also a lot of information here so it's gonna be business B1 or tourism is B2 so for today we're gonna go with the tourism B2 but there is also information if you get confused how to apply section and then schedule in interview section as well go through each of them if you need more information other than this video so with tourism B2 visa you can do multiple things for example tourism vacations visit with friends or relatives medical treatments Participation in social events hosted by fraternal social or service organization. Participation by amateurs in musical sports and so on. And then let's go to apply visa now which is DS-160. I'm just going to click an online application visa application form which is known as DS-160 form. And let's click it here so after we reach into this space we have two options if you have already started your applications before you can retrieve your application as well I'm gonna point out that piece of note where you can retrieve your application later but for now we're gonna start from scratch so I'm just gonna click Nepal here because I'm going to start it from I'm gonna do my interview in Nepal so I'm gonna click there for now it's just a reference please all the information here are just for dummy purposes so it is it may not be correct information in terms of applying to visa because you need to enter your information there it's it is on all the datas that I enter here are dummy datas. If it matches to anybody, please don't use those datas. 
of course it will not match but still we start an application I'm just gonna click agree these are some computer fraud and abuse act notices and then uh, you just gonna give this your what is the given name of your mother's mother your grandmother's I'm just gonna type Vusal so this information is you can save it down or take a screenshot or anything I'm just gonna continue I'm just gonna give my personal information now so I'm just gonna type my last name first name and then full name in native alphabet I'm just gonna type in Anil Pusal or if it doesn't apply you can click it doesn't apply as well it doesn't matter because if your keyboard doesn't support that you can just ignore that or just click on does not apply have you ever used other names median religions professional names I'm just gonna click no do you have a telecode that represents your name no your sex no marital status whatever your marital status is go through it if you are married click married if you are single click single I'm just gonna go with single for now date of date and place of birth I'm just gonna click in 1st of January 1995 city I'm just gonna click Kathmandu and then state of province I'm gonna just gonna click Bagmati and then country is gonna be Nepal that's what I'm gonna do it for now so if it is different country please go with that if you don't have any state of province click on does not apply and then go to next so country or religion of origin nationalities Nepal do you hold or have you held any nationality other than the one you indicated above no if you have any other country nationality please go and input your information there are you a permanent resident of a country or region other than your country or region of your origin no national identification number if you have any national identification number just go with that I'm just gonna click a one two three four five six seven eight just dummy value you yes or you can just click does not apply if you don't have it US social security number this is a number you're gonna get it after you come here in United States if you haven't come here to United States you're not gonna have this number I guess so it does not apply tax as long as you are now working in the United States you're not gonna have your tax sessions or tax so it's not gonna apply to you as well if you have one go with that now provide the following information please select the visa class so the visa class is going to be a B visa which is gonna be business pleasure visa or temporary business or oh, and then to be specifically it's gonna be a tourism visa B2 have you made a specific travel plan if you have any specific travel plans please enter here because that will make more organized your travel plans so it is recommended but not mandatory so I was just gonna click yes because it will make more easy life first of March 2024 arrival flight I don't know I'm just gonna click uh, arrival it's got arrival is New York and then date of departure I'm just gonna click here date of arrival in United States here date of departure from United States I'm gonna click first of maybe June from 2024 departure departure city 
uh, date of departure from United States. I'm just gonna click New York. Arrival city is New York, and then departure city from United States in the United States. So it, it's both gonna be New York. I'm just gonna write that one for now. Provide the location you plan to visit in the United States. It's gonna be New York. If you have any others, please add it there. Address where you will stay in the United States. So you can, if you have, if you're, you can give some hotel informations or your relative informations or the place you want to be. So I'm just gonna click some dummy informations, but do not click dummy informations while you do your fill out your informations so Madison Street and then city going to be New York City the state is going to be New York as well zip code uh, I'm not gonna enter zip code now and then who is paying for your trip I'm gonna pay for myself if somebody is paying for you you can indicate that person's informations like prison employee or other persons or employee in United States or anything. I'm just gonna click next. Are there other persons traveling with you? No, I'm traveling single. That's the vacation. Have you ever been in the United States? No. Have you ever been issued a US visa? No. Have you ever been refused a US visa? No. Have you ever been refused a US visa or been refused to admissions? We did that one just now. Has anyone ever filed an immigrant petition on your behalf? Behalf with the United States Citizenship and Immigration. So nope. If you have anything, please click yes. Address and phone numbers. I'm just gonna give address. This is also dummy information. Madison Street. City going to be state I'm just gonna click does not apply or if there is any state you can just click New York post code is 1001 yeah reason is oh sorry this is the informations of back to the country this is not the information for the United States so sorry about it so home address is Kathmandu and then city is going to be Kathmandu as well state I'm just gonna click does not apply and then country is going to be Nepal mailing address is same as your home address yes and then this too is does not apply and then I'm just gonna give my phone number have you used any other phone numbers in your last five years nope email address I'm just gonna click my email address which is Have you used any other email address in the last five years? No. So do you have a social media? Uh, if you have any social medias, please go and add it there. I'm just gonna click YouTube. And then social media identifier. You can click, you can insert your link or name. If link, that's nice too. I'm just gonna click my information here do you use to provide the information about your presence on any other websites 
or applications you have within do you wish to provide informations about your presence on any other websites no and then next so we're gonna insert now passport information so passport is regular passport and then password number one is the dummy passport passport book number i'm just gonna it does not apply and then it's nepal where was the passport travel document issued so it's gonna be Kathmandu. or if it is something else please check your passport issue date i'm just gonna put first of january or february 2016 and then expiration date i'm just gonna put something like 31st of january 2000 26 have you ever lost your passport or had one stolen no nope. and then click next now you have information so us point of contact so if you have anybody whom they can contact you so please insert it here if you you need to provide either of one of them either an organization name or the person name i'm just gonna click a person name for now who's all ram relationship i'm just gonna put my friend and his address i'm just gonna use the same address city new york state is also new york zip code i don't know phone number i just gonna give him 347 email address his email dot com just gonna click next you just need to give your parents information if you want to give it if not you can skip as well so you can uh, i'm just gonna give you quickly information about the parents we saw maybe give a name i'm just gonna give some dummy parents name dummy informations uh, my father and then date of birth january 1970 is your father in the United States? No. Mother. Mother. And then January 1972. Is your mother in the United States? No. Do you have any immediate relatives, not including parents in the United States? No, I don't have anybody. Do you have any other relatives? No, I don't have anybody. Present work, education, or training information. So if you have anything, please go ahead. I'm just going to click student for myself. Uh, if you have any work, you can just click something like, uh, let's see, what are they? maybe computer science or education engineering or anything you have it schools or if you don't find anything that matches your stops go and click on other i'm just gonna click uh, let, let's click something else maybe um, maybe some educations i teach in school maybe something like that uh, present employer or school name XYZ secondary school street Kathmandu Kathmandu 
bag marty postal code i'm just going to turn here postal code and the phone number of that one company country is nepal and then start date is i'm just going to put first of january 2010 monthly income uh monthly income you can type anything maybe fifty thousand fifty thousand or something like maybe uh, fifty thousand maybe thousand usd and then please describe your duties i'm just gonna type teacher it's easy right so if you have anything else trainer subkeeper or anything go with that maybe it doesn't accept the letters i'm just gonna click i'll just go back uh, yes were you previously employed yes okay i need to give information again never mind uh, i'm just gonna do it quickly xyz that's the information because i did back it, it was giving that error i was trying to correct the information about the salary it's all right Kathmandu, Bagmati, and then this does not apply. Nepal phone number is zero one. Job title is teacher. Supervisor name I don't have it. I don't have it. Employment start. If you were you previously employed before that if you click yes you're gonna have to in, input all the information if you click no it just skips so have you ap attended any educational institute at the secondary level or above I'm just gonna click no if you have click yes just click yes just click no for now do do you belong to a clan or tribe no language i just speak english and then add another i'm just gonna click nepali hindi or any anything you speak maybe something bengali or any languages Have you traveled to any countries, regions within the last five years? No. Have you belonged to, contributed to, or worked for any professional, social, or charitable organization? No. Do you have any specialized skills or training? No. Have you ever served in military? No. If you are served in the military, please say yes or any information. Have you ever served in or been a member or been involved in the parliamentary? No. Do you have a, any disease? No disease. Physical disorder? No. Are you or have a, been a drug abuser? Any drug issues? No drugs issues. Next. Have you ever been arrested? No arrest. No violations. Are you coming to the United States to engage in prostitution? No prostitutions. Have you ever been involved in or do you seek to engage in money laundering? No. Have you been committed or conspired to commit to human trafficking? No. Have you ever knowingly added or anything individual or conspired to commit secure human trafficking? No. Are you the spouse, son, or daughter of individual who has committed or conspired 
to commit a human trafficking offense, no? Do you seek to engage in any anything export or violations, no? Do you seek to engage in terrorist? No intent to provide financially, no? Member of a terrorist, no? Spouse or son, no? Have you ever ordered, committed anything, commit, order or assisted, uh, torture or no torture, anything, act violence? Have you ever been to taking a use of child abuse? No. Nope. Have you ever, have you while serving a government official or anything like that? No. Have you ever been directed involved? No. Nope. Have you ever been directly involved in a suicide transportation snob and then go to four have you ever sought to obtain or assist other to obtain a visa entry into United States or any other United States immigration no nope. have you ever been removed or deported no nope. click next have you ever withheld custody of United States child outside the United States from the persons granted no have you voted in the United States in the violation of law or no? have you ever been renounced United States citizenship for purpose of avoiding taxes no so now starting November 1st 2016 eyeglasses will no longer be allowed in the visa photos so we need to upload the photos here so there is some criteria to upload the photos so if we click here and go to this information here you have all the list of the informations that the photo requirements so digital image must be in colors and so many informations about it so please go with that and then there are some example photos as well so you can go through these example photos these are the yes no's and yes so please go through that and then upload your photos and you'll be good to go from there now please select the image we can maybe I have downloaded that photos here let's try if it will allow me to upload the photos image may be out of focus let's try you must bring a 5cm by 5cm passport like photo of your to your interview it says it want me to bring a photos to an interview so it's okay I can bring a photos I'm just gonna click and next review leave yes so it just asks me to bring a photos but it just passes that so it should find please double check your information everything is correct if it is correct let's go to the next step so check your tourism information it is b2 and then your information in the united states and then next to the contact so this is the persons who you know in the united states and your family information your mother and then your father information double check that everything and then there is some your languages and then this is just checking your information, double checking your information. So click next and then security information. Double check everything. If it is anything incorrect, please correct it. And then locations. You're going to give your inter interview in Kathmandu, Nepal. And then and finally, you're just going to sign it. And did anyone assist you filing this application? No. You did yourself self apply and then you're just gonna enter your passport number and then you're just gonna click this 
informations and then you're just gonna submit it here so after doing that you need to sign in here and then if you go here sign here and then I once you submit it you need to make an appointment to the Kathmandu Nepal or your consulate place or immigration place in your country so make it there make an appointment and then move on from there so if I go here review or sign in let me not submit this application because all the information are incorrect and it's not good to submit it so you can just submit it I'm just gonna click save for mine and then I just gonna click exit let cancel so please note it down this information it is very useful so you need that information so I'm just gonna click an exit okay and then you have more information here as well so we just determine our eligibility so and then and then we just completed DS-160 form after completing DS-160 form it will ask you to pay for the visa fee it will give all the informations whether you have to go to the bank or you have to pay online this is gonna give you information on that one so after that you need to schedule visa interviews by making an account and then you need to gather the required document and then attend the visa interview as well and then receive your passport after you have something your visa and then welcome to United States that's all and you good to go from there don't forget to like and subscribe the channel if you like it if there is anything any videos you want me to go over in future or any countries information or any documents that you want me to cover please go ahead and comment down below I'll try my best to make the information clear and on time thank you very much have a good one bye